kids. Uh, <coughs> hey, Mr. Smithers! Ha, <laughs> hello, Simpson. What's the deal with this place? It's so manly, yet scented. <laughs> yes, I seem to have gotten lost on my way to the, uh, the, uh, the big auto, uh, racing festival, so I've never been here before. Hey, Waylon. Who's the bear? <laughs> oh, is that the Mr. Burns you're always talking about? No, he's nobody. Shut up, Stuart. Nice to meet you, Stuart. Homer, before you move in, you should know that Julio and I have an active social life. Me too. I'm a member of this club where if I eat one more sub sandwich, I get a free sub sandwich. You probably saw the ad where this guy used to be fat, but now he's just ugly. Homer, what Grady is saying is that, how can I put this? Look, we might have a cocktail, say, where all the guests are male. Are you trying to tell me that you guys are those guys that like guys? That's right, Homer. We're gay. You are? Hmm, which will win out? My old-fashioned prejudices or the fact that I've already mixed my laundry with yours? I'll have to sleep on it. He's sleeping in the pantry. <gasps> my spices! You guys lead a fascinating life. Like, why are you reading the New York Times? You don't live in New York. Oh, I despise the Springfield Chopper. What is that? All the headlines are jokes. Mm. Ugh, where'd you buy this? From the guy on the exit ramp? This is disgusting. Calm down, picky Ricardo. He made us a great breakfast, and you're just riding his butt. And not in a good way. Thank you, Homer. It's a pleasure cooking for you. Well, get used to it, because I'm gonna stay. Fabulous. Here's the key to the lotion cabinet. Grady, are you sure you want to live with him? It's either him or that girl who put Mother Earth as a reference. And with a male roommate, we could walk around naked. Way ahead of you. <laughs> Woo! Don't worry, sweetie. Your father won't stay mad forever. It's so weird not having Dad here. I can't fall asleep if I haven't read him his bedtime story. Hello? Hold on. Nancy Drew let out a low whistle. This isn't an old windmill at all. It's a new windmill. No, Dad. I'm sure she won't be killed. That will be $100. I see. Dad took us antiquing. Yeah, and along the way, we took photos of interesting doors and gates. Your father sure can be thoughtful when he wants to be. Marge, please, let's not fight in front of the kids. Just secretly hate me the way you always have. Hey, I love watching you guys fight. It's my earliest memory. Well, you little... <laughs> Dad, your hands feel so soft. You noticed? I've been using Lancome. Oh, it, it shows. I haven't had a strangle that smooth since I was four. Well, I'd better go, but before I do, Marge, there's something I want to ask you. Yes, homie? How much do you tip a leg waxer? I need to know by tomorrow. Just go and take your stupid Lhasa Apso with you. <laughs> 